Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Turn Off Note. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see, what do we have for you Scorpio? There is a big kind of sense of liberation and freedom regarding something here that's been established. We're starting with your energy, Scorpio. You might be seeing repeated numbers, okay? 1977 as a year might be quite important. Or 5th of July or 7th of July, 20th of July, okay? something in the past might have happened during this time page of pentacles we have a two of pentacles king of pentacles three of pentacles strong pentacle energy four of wands at the bottom of the deck oh that's nice this is happiness, joy, fulfillment. Uh, Four of Wands is an overall energy for this week, suggests that you will have reasons to be happy. You will have reasons to celebrate, Scorpio. We have very strong pentacle energy. We have Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I feel that during this week, for a lot of you, Scorpio, like a work-related situation or job here will be uh, a priority you'll be focusing on this um, king of pentacles can represent employment but this is also a card of security and it feels very strongly here that your position here is secure it's stable i'm seeing you being very busy juggling responsibilities though and i feel that there will be some sort of communication or you will try to kind of put your point across uh, regarding this this thing that you feel that you need to juggle in those two things that you need to juggle and I feel that you want to focus on one thing but uh, it's like maybe you are doing some sort of extra work I see with the three of pentacles it's like a team of people trying to work towards a common goal so you might be um you might be involved in some sort of kind of project here and it's like a long-term situation with the seven of pentacles because that represents something that it's you know that you've been working for a long time this is an energy of uh, patience and weight but also being very very um um gosh i the word um It shows your dedication with the seven of pentacles this is very nurturing energy that's what I wanted to say so I see like a long-term project and you know communication regarding the progress of it but with the two of pentacles it's like you have the other thing also that you need to kind of work or kind of focus on and I see also that you might kind of um, Is simply in a very kind of um, delicate way or gentle way um, ask if you can have a help with this other thing in order to focus on this one thing okay we have a judgment and a hierophant someone here wants to resurrect something with you it's like the old situation wants to resurface itself again with the Hierophant it might be something to do with a um, with a relationship connection situationship it feels that excuse me you will receive um, 
casual message here and I feel that it will kind of make you think it will be like why well, I wasn't expecting that why this person is communicating why they are sending me this message what do they what do they truly want what are they um, intentions here because seven of cups is that energy of confusion hmm why why they are showing up now something like this but overall that it will be a very positive week for you Scorpio with the four of wands let's see let's clarify this reading for you Scorpio we have judgment and the hierophant why judgment and the hierophant this is also a strong kind of kind of karma energy but I feel that because of your dedication and attention to detail and your nurturing energy uh, you receive a very good karma but let's see if it's if it's uh, purely about you so why the judgment and the hierophant here for Scorpio please we have the fool we have the emperor you might be divine masculine or you are dealing with divine masculine we have the hierophant we have the hermit excuse me and king of cups Someone is having a wake-up call, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Children might be involved in that situation. We have Virgo energy as well. We have Aries, strong Aries Aquarius as well. Well, someone here is coming and they're going to take a leap of faith during this week, Scorpio, because they want to have a new beginning with you, this emperor to be, to be precise. Uh, with the hermit this is someone here with whom you haven't been in touch for some time it might be a case that there is no contact situation this person went within but it's like with the king of cups they've never stopped loving you and that's the thing and now it feels that for, for, for a lot of you during this week and it can be even Wednesday or Thursday this person will take a leap of faith and re will reach out or you will have a conversation with them. We have a Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this is someone who wants a stable relationship. For some of you, if you are in a relationship with, uh, with Divine Masculine, I'm getting here that things will be just fine. This person wants to be with you. They love you. They care a lot about you okay so but I'm, I'm getting very strongly for a lot of you that someone here is having a wake-up call they thought a lot about the situation and it's like they want to take a leap of faith and and have this new beginning with you why the seven of pentacles and seven of cups Why the Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Cups, please? We have a Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands. An Ace of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone here is coming with an apology. Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, Ten of Pentacles again. This is the same person. This is the same individual. I feel this person in the past because the fact that we have the judgment it means that this is that might be someone from your past at at some point they made you feel that you are an option not a priority for them and you but the thing is that this is someone here who's very invested in this connection with the seven of pentacles knight of cups it feels like this person needs to apologize they're coming with an apology we have an ace of wands and ace of cups this is action this person will reach out and they will make an offer of love. Why? Because they want a stable relationship with you. A long-term relationship with you, Scorpio. Yes, you can expect an offer of love from this person. Indeed. Absolutely. 
for some of you if you are again in a established relationship and children might be involved i'm getting very strongly that your partner will take initiative and um they will come with some sort of surprise and it will make you feel very happy with the ace of cups okay so you can expect something like this if you are in an established relationship uh, to happen during this week so why the page of pentacles and the two of pentacles please we have a knight of pentacles okay we have a three of cups Lovers Gemini energy. It is showing me some sort of agreement. We have Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. Okay. And the Death card. Your energy, Scorpio. Yeah. So it feels that during this week, and indeed, if you resonate with this message that you feel that you have so much, so many responsibilities, especially when it comes to your work related situation, and you would like to talk with your supervisor or with someone in a position of authority, I'm seeing that um, it's like, it might be a case with this Knight of Pentacles that um, you've been planning to do it for a long time, but you feel that now you are ready to do it finally three of cups suggests that you have reasons to be very happy so the outcome seems to be very positive and with the seven of wands and with the two of swords i feel that you will present your point of view in a very kind of uh, assertive way and just say that you know it's it's i i feel that you will give a, a certain explanation why it might be so difficult but it will be a very kind of um how can i say it it will be um it will make sense essentially that explanation with the two of swords and the death cut it feels like you know uh, that that double edged sword situation will come to an end so i see you being very happy and you gaining a very positive resolution to a very complex situation very very cool scorpio Why the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles for Scorpio? We have a Queen of Pentacles, so we have the energy of Divine Counterpart, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you are not on the speaking terms because they are not looking at each other, right? We have the devil. Mm -hmm. There might be no, no communication. That's for sure. But then we have the world. Ace of Swords. Okay. So expect communication. Uh, Scorpio here with this Ace of Swords because that's a triumph of truth, clarity, honesty. This is... Uh, a card that represents uh, someone who wants to clear the air with you okay this is this is a conversation communication ace of swords but it's like a ex also this is more than just communication it's like someone here will explain themselves to you you might be dealing with capricorn scorpio i also have your energy so maybe another scorpio we have aquarius taurus leo yeah i feel that whole situation it's a little bit kind of draining and toxic uh with the devil and there is a need for some sort of kind of very honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation between the two of you okay because i feel that this this the lack of communication here it's um it's not beneficial for both of the parties okay and it's draining because then we have this energy of being very stuck in, in, in our heads and kind of assuming many things. But the good thing here is that with the world that 
that exhausting and tiring energy represented by the devil uh, will will came to an end because the world it's a completion of a certain cycle and essentially this cycle and because we have the ace of swords that suggests that you will be here in touch with someone uh, who sees you as their divine counterpart and also who you might see them in the same light okay uh, with the three of pentacles i'm getting very strongly here that um, some sort of kind of resolution will be obtained and this is a card of a teamwork so i see both of you kind of you know willing to compromise and resolve the situation uh, in a in a very positive way so you can expect here that if things has been very very challenging or difficult between the two of you or between you and someone who feels like soulmate for you um, things will change and that part of difficulty will disappear okay that will be resolved that will be resolved you have someone here who is thinking a lot about you but i feel that you are equally think about them a lot as well you know this is like a mutual energy um this person feels unfinished business but i feel that you equally feel unfinished business with them either way you can expect a positive resolution to this situation and this honest conversation will only help the whole matter and i see both of you kind of working together towards a common goal so things looking really really promising the most important thing i'm getting here is that with the four of wands which also represents relationship connections you know stability you'll be very happy this 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 week will be very positive and um you'll have reasons to uh, to celebrate essentially scorpio Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and week. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.